What is up, guys? It's Leapsy here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I can't believe it. Just last video, we were talking about reaching 100, and now we're already past that 200 mark. This is amazing. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I'm just, I'm speechless. This is awesome. Um, so I was out of town for a little while. It's been a while since our last video. Um, I wanted to go over in this video about what Axie Infinity is, a little bit about the basics, how to get started in Axie Infinity, and how to choose your first couple of axes. I know that this is something that a lot of you guys have probably already done or already seen videos about, but for all the new people coming into Axie Infinity, I thought I'd make my own video on this. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I wanted to say is Axie Infinity is actually the number one um, cryptocurrency game out there. So if we look at this website, this is actually BitDegree and it's showing you all of the decentralized apps that are on the Ethereum network. And we're looking at just Ethereum because that is one of the largest uh, spaces for de decentralized apps or dApps. Um, and over here, you can see Axie Infinity is number five. And uh, even though it's number five, it is actually the first game that you see in the list over here. So it is number one for crypto gaming and for the crypto gaming sp space. So after saying that, um, if you wanted to get started in Axie Infinity, you're going to go ahead and bring yourself over to this page. This is the Axie Infinity homepage. And over here, you can see right in the middle, it says getting started. So when you get over here, make sure you come to the correct page. Make sure it says Axie Infinity. It is the correct website. You're not getting scammed because this is uh, if you start off in the wrong spot, it's going to lead you down into all kinds of crazy things. And you don't want to be doing that. So we'll click on get started. And over here, it's going to go ahead and teach you um, one, two, three, four steps to getting to play Axie Infinity. So what you're going to need to do is create a Ronin wallet. What I would suggest doing before you ever create a Ronin wallet is getting a MetaMask wallet set up. And uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there on how to get MetaMask set up. So I would go ahead and uh, direct you onto YouTube. Just go ahead and search it and make sure you uh, get your MetaMask set up before coming over to Ronin. But once you have your MetaMask set up, you can then go ahead and create a Ronin wallet. So we'll click get started. And this will give you the links for exactly what you need for your Ronin wallet setup. Depending on which uh, um, browser you're using, Chrome or Firefox, you'll get that extension, or you can also use the mobile app that they've just recently released. Make sure that you get the correct mobile app. There are a lot of scams out there for uh, fake Ronin wallet, Ronin mobile wallets. So make sure that you download it from the correct place. So after getting your Ronin wallet set up, uh, if you are a little bit confused about that, again, I'll direct you to other YouTube videos. Just Google search and check out how to get Ronin Wallet set up. There's Axie videos, uh, there's Axie content creators, and a lot of people have shown those step-by-step -step how to get that set up. However, once you get that set up, what you're going to want to do is make your way to the Axie marketplace. What I would recommend, though, is before ever stepping foot into the marketplace and spending money on axes, is getting to know what Axie classes are, how axes work, and le learning a little bit about the basics of axes before ever spending your money in them. Um, so my recommendation is to come over here to the Axie Zone leaderboard. Uh, you can find that by coming over to the PVP section and clicking on leaderboard over here once you get to Axie Zone. And over here, you'll see all of the top players in Axie Infinity. You can check out their teams and you can kind of compare and contrast to how you want to play Axie Infinity so you can see what is a good Axie team uh, before you ever even get started. Um, so you might not understand what is a good team right off the bat, and that makes sense. You haven't played Axie before. So learning the basics of Axie Infinity is also a very good idea. And I'll go ahead and leave a link to this guide in the description down below. But I just wanted to go over this little image right here. So this is showing you the um, kind of rock, paper, scissor triangle to Axie Infinity. What is it's similar to Pokemon. Pokemon had, you know, plant, fire and water. Over here in Axie Infinity, you have uh, the reptile plant dusk at the top, which deal greater damage to your a bird, aqua, and dawn, and these deal greater damage to your bug, beast, and uh, mech. And then in turn, those deal greater damage back to the first set, which is the plant, reptile, dusk. So after you learned their strengths and weaknesses, one other thing that I would suggest is knowing what the Axie classes mean and what their stats mean. So I'll go ahead and leave this one also down in the, in the description below. But over here, you can see that Axies have four stats. There's health, 
morale, skill, and speed. And each one of these has a different function. So health is of course for health, morale is for critical strikes, skill is for dealing combo damage, and speed is for determining the order of which the Axie plays. Um, aside from that, each Axie also has six body parts, Four of those determine which cards they are, and those four are by the mouth, the back, the horns, and the tail. So those four are actually Axie cards and moves. The other two are the eyes and the ears, and those still contribute, but only towards the stats. They don't have cards yet. So over here, you can see what those um, body parts will do for each Axie class. So with plants, if you have plant part on a plant, that will give it an additional three HP and one morale for each plant part. And this will be for each aqua, each aqua part will be three speed and one HP. For beast, each beast part will be three morale and one speed. For bug, three morale and one HP. For birds, three speed and one morale. And for reptiles, three HP and one speed. So this helps you kind of understand what each class is actually um, best at or what it can excel at. Because if you have a plant with max plant parts, it will have full HP, but it will not be very great in speed or other, other parts. Right now, there are no parts that add skill, but I think that they're going to be changing that in the future. We'll see what happens. It's all speculation. Um, one other thing that I wanted to make sure that I say that this is not financial advice, please, this is just for educational purposes. This is uh, only entertainment. Uh, if you need financial advice, talk to your financial advisor. So after knowing all of that, you can kind of get an understanding of what axes are good, what axes are bad, and take a look at the leaderboard and take a look at how you want to play with your axes. Um, the other thing I would say is there are also Axie scholarships out there that you can use to be able to get uh, into Axie Infinity without ever spending your money to start off with. And this will help you start Axie Infinity, learn the basics, get into playing the game, and uh, even earn some money before ever even spending any of your own money. Um, I'll leave this one also in the description down below, but this is just a uh, list of different Axie scholars that are out there, their teams, who their scholars are, and, uh, and just a basic uh, starting point for Axie Scholars. Um, if you also go to the Axie Infinity Discord, they'll have a scholarship application uh, thread over there, and that has a consistent stream of people applying to be scholars, pe managers looking for new scholars, um, all people just trying to get connected with uh, scholarships and the programs. So um, make sure that you join the Axie Infinity Discord. That is also here on the main page down at the bottom. If you look like right below me, you'll see the link for the Discord. Uh, it also shows up here when you look at the top right, there's a Axie Infinity Discord, join their Discord button over here. Axie Infinity Discord is very full because of all the players that are in Axie Infinity. So if you can't get into the Discord, um, you know, just try, try a few times or try and get into one of the alternative um, um, official Discords. I believe they have a Philippine one. So now that you've gotten into Axie, you started playing or bought your first axes and you started earning these rewards. What does that look like? How do you spend those rewards? What are you going to do with those rewards? So there's two rewards that you can earn in Axie Infinity. So the first one is SLP and the second one is AXS. SLP stands for Smooth Love Potion and AXS stands for Axie Infinity Shards. Most of the time you will be earning SLP. You earn that by playing Adventure Mode or playing Arena Mode and uh, SLP is used actually as a portion of the breeding fee for breeding axes. Whenever you breed an axie, currently the fee is one AXS per breed as, as well as some SLP. And that SLP will be determined on how many breeds that axie has already had in the past. Uh, so this is some of the use cases for SLP. Um, for AXS, AXS, like I said before, is going to be used in breeding, but is also going to be the Axie Infinity governance token. So in the future, it will be used for uh, voting on how to spend things like the community treasury, how to change uh, Axie Infinity, maybe even buffs and debuffs, and, uh, and just give you voting privileges and rights to the Axie Infinity ecosystem. Um, we don't know what's coming up in the future. There might even be other ways to earn AXS through land gameplay, but again, that's all speculation. So I hope that that was a quick kind of rundown of what Axie Infinity is, how to get started in Axie Infinity, um, you know, what's going to happen once you get those tokens, and a little bit of the basics, and just scratching the surface about what you need to understand for Axie um, classes and uh, mechanisms. 
I will have another video soon going over Axie buffs and debuffs and going over all the mechanisms of the combos, chains, and everything else that you need to know for PvP stuff. So please stay tuned for that. And again, thank you so much for all of the subs. Uh, this has been amazing. Uh, I'm sorry for a little bit of the delay. My wife and I were out of town for a little while, but more content will be coming soon. Please hit that like and subscribe. We will see you on the next one. Peace.